All right, YouTube, what is up today? We're going to be doing a little something different that you really, you've never seen this on my channel before. Now, we're, what, what I'm going to probably start doing in the coming uh, weeks, I would like to start doing is like a little a little uh, market watch for zombie players and, you know, cars that I see that are cheap uh, that we, you know, if fellow zombie players, you know, like y'all who's watching this channel would, would, you know, would use and stuff like that. Um, and if you guys are anything like me, I, I, I like to be on the cheap end when I buy my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I really don't like to shell out money for a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards because, you know, that's just, I, that's just me. I don't like doing it. So, um, I'm really going to be talking about two cards today because this is pretty much a little tribal one. This is a little something I do want to talk about now because of the banless hype, which I believe, uh, when I, I am going to do a video probably Wednesday or Friday. That I believe I believe that Banlis is going to come out um, right before the next YCS in January, either before um, or I just believe it's going to like I'm like 95 percent sure it's going to come out before that, um, and I'll get more into that with the next video. But because of the Banlis hype that is going to come out in January, um, you start to see a whole bunch of cards tank now. Like totally awesome is like forty dollars right now. Which it was just 50, 55, but I already knew that car was gonna tank. But that that's never the that's never the point. I think people are still scared of the ban list for to for totally awesome, which I think is ridiculous because that car just came out. They're not gonna hit it. It's not like it's it's not it's not um Pepe. This this I just wanna be clear with everybody, it's not Pepe. That card um is not dominating the format and stuff like that. So Anyways, forget all that extra nonsense. That's once again that'll be in my band this video. Talk more about certain stuff there. But what I did see is Omega is down to forty-five to forty dollars. If you guys do use eBay, forty-two dollars. I don't know how much the shipping and shit is. Um, but uh, TCD players forty-five. You know stuff like that, which is very surprising because um, in the last couple of ICS, Omega has not really did anything. But I think a lot of people think it's going to get hit now. Even if it does get hit, it's it, I don't think it's going to get banned. Now, that is something that I don't think would happen. I think the most they're going to do is put it to one, and that's that's still a, that's still a um, what's the name? That is still a, a, a reach, I would say, because Omega is a fucking broken card, and it does need to be put to one, but it hasn't really been doing anything um, of this last format. And then, like... A lot of decks do already cut it out of the extra deck, so I don't think it's still going to be. I don't think it's going to get hit. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't get hit because I do like this card, but I would not be surprised if it does get hit. But um, forty dollars, I mean, they're only going to go down, so you could wait. But man, I mean, if you don't have your Omega, I, 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 I don't want to tell you to go buy it because then if it gets hit, then y'all gonna be like, oh, why the fuck you said that? Nah. I'm not gonna say buy it, but if you can, if you can trade for one or get one for even cheaper than forty dollars, because you could use that to your advantage. Be like, hey man, the band is coming out. This card might get hit, um, and whatnot. And it's gonna just dwindle down. If you can get it for any cheaper than this, I would definitely pick at least one up, at least one Omega, because that's the. High, I don't think it's gonna get banned, um, because side frames do need this card. It's specifically, it was made for side frames, but. I mean, side frames are not the best deck to use it. But yeah, like I said, man, this is the cheapest it's probably been in the last couple of months. Um, Omega has been at 40, like it's literally like at 41, 45 dollars. So these, this is definitely a card I would say pick up if you can get it for the cheap end. Another card I do want to talk about is Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon, which I don't understand why this card is going down. Maybe it's because a lot of people aren't using it, but you not does nobody understand when Witches are coming out, that all this shit that uses Crystal Wing and makes it indestructible. This card is this card is dropping, um, but you can see it, it, it is kind of picking up, I guess, over the last 30 days, but this card was a $45, $50 card probably a month ago, you know, and now this shit's at 38 You know, you can get it for 40 bucks. And if you can buy it off of somebody, you can probably get it for 35 or you can trade some shit. You can probably get it for 30 I don't know, but there's definitely a card I would definitely invest in picking up. I'm going to try to get me one. Um, and like I said, I am on the cheap side, so I will be trying to get it for like 30 or maybe even less than that by trading a couple of cards. But this card right here is uh, very good in a zombie deck. I did have this card, but then I didn't use it as much. And now I wish I still had the card because this card is amazing in zombie deck. And like I said, this card is only going to go up. 
because uh, it, it's not going to get hit by the ban list, but it can also get reprinted. But we don't know when the hell anything's coming out. So uh, you could take a chance by waiting, but I don't know, man. Like I said, I'm going to pick me up one. Like I said, I'm going to try to get it for the cheapest I can get it. But I'm definitely going to be picking up these cards. But yeah, that, so that's just all I want to talk about. It's a little just quick marker watch or whatnot. You can't even call it really a marker watch. Just two cards I wanted to really discuss for us zombie players because I know that, you know, our synchros are very expensive. Or the extra deck is not, not yeah, it is very expensive. I'm not going to say that. Our, our extra deck is very expensive. Um, if you do, if you are a budget player, I mean, some people already got desires and shit, so it does not it's not really a problem to buy all these cards. But I'm just saying, um, our extra deck is pretty much the highest part of the deck, so that is something to just watch. I'm just giving you guys a heads up and stuff that these cards are going down, and then because of the balance hype. Now, like I said, uh, I will discuss more about my balance predictions and stuff like that in the, in my balance video. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are two cards definitely just just to watch out look out for if you guys do not have these These are perfect time to pick up these cards because everybody's scared something's gonna happen Everybody's scared something's gonna get reprinted and you know, like, uh, you know, Konami's unproven what time and time again There's cards that just don't get reprinted and then shit shoot up like monolith quick for monolith is the best example of that That card everybody thought it was gonna get reprinted and so it was, it was cheap and then bam It didn't get reprinted and it's, and it's now still like a 35 40 card 40 dollar card which is just ridiculous for a normal card that literally does nothing besides special summoning going to uh, infinity. But yeah, uh, going to end the video on that. Did not want to be too long of a video. Probably, yeah, it was six minutes. All right, this is a cool little video and whatnot. I, I am still uploading at 1 p.m. So you guys definitely going to get that video too. But this is just a little quick video I did uh, come up with. I just want to get this out before... Um, I, I, I don't know before something happens, I guess. I don't know. But yeah. So as of recording this video, these cards are very, I mean, uh, I would say cheap. The cheap as they've been in months. Probably except for Crystal Wing. This is probably like $10 off than what is, is usually. Look, see, it says the average is $43. So yeah. I don't see why a lot of people don't use Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. I always use this site when I go to buy cards. Like I found, um, I found a whole bunch of cards were cheap that I just went on here and looked. But it looks like this thing then messed up. So yeah. That is it for today. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to burp. But yeah, that is it for today. If you guys do like this type of video, if you want me to do more like th this stuff, you know, just let me know uh, or give me some pointers or what, what else I should do and uh, whatnot to improve this channel. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment and subscribe. Also click add to help support the channel and me, which would be very appreciative. And I will see you guys at 1 p.m.